Hey guys, what's going on? It's Karate Robert here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial. Um, this one is just going to be using channels to mass, mass make mass, quick mass, um, for photo editing. Um, I mean, you can use it in a lot of different ways. Um, I actually work at an ad agency doing photo retouching, so I'm using masking. All, using masks all the time, uh, constantly, constantly trying to learn new, faster ways to uh, go about um, masking off things. Uh, I'm gonna work in CMYK here. All right, so I pulled off my channels right here. Not many people are aware that there's channels or how to use them or what they are. Um, I'm just gonna kind of give a basic overview of how I use them every day. Um, so starting off, a lot of times if you need to outline an object, if you want to get a mask outline, um, you kind of have to, you can go through the channels just by clicking them. There's also the hotkeys you can see here, but you can see where most of the color is. So in this object, a lot of the colors in the yellow. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dupe this layer. You can just name it whatever or rename it later. And then I'm going to make it visible, not working off the yellow one. And so now um, I'm going to command I it because when you're working with a mask, which I'll create another tutorial about mainly just about mass and not about creating it with just a channel. But when you're working in the mask, the white space is the area that's used, and the black space is the masked off area. Um, so I inverted it, so I made the bottle white, and now I'm going to do a Command M. And this is going to bring up a curve just for this channel. And I'm going to grab up here at the top. Actually, I'm going to go at the, bo the bottom here. So it intensifies the whites. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to Command M again, and it'll reset that curve. And I'm going to keep going to push these as far as I can go. I'm starting to get a little bit on the edge, which is what I don't want to get. Sometimes you have to do this, and then you have to manually go in. I don't know how much farther I can really push this. All right, so what you can do is then, now you can grab a brush. I'm going to be using a tablet. Um, and so I'm going to be doing this white here and notice how since I have just this channel highlighted I'm painting on or coloring on the channel not the layer over here I'm actually only working on this channel so you can like zoom in sorry I got that pixel grid on and then I can even touch up touch up this little part here I can use X to switch over uh, my colors I can switch between black and white to hockey X And so now I'm going to quick grab the pen tool. If you guys want a tutorial on the pen tool, I can make one also, but I'm just going to do it kind of quick and sloppy here just to make this tutorial within the time constraints. All right, and I'll right click it and I'll make a selection, or you can fill the path. And then I'm just going to do a uh, alt delete to fill. So there we have the outline and I'll click back to CMYK on the top here. And so also keep in mind I'm working on a Mac so any hotkeys are going to be different on PC but if I hit command you can see the little square outline on the finger the pointer there. I can click that and boom there I have an outline of 
the bottle. <clears throat> now I can do the same process if I want to isolate certain colors. Like, let's say that black in the text there. I'm going to duplicate the black channel, because obviously the black is there. I'm going to command I it, which would be control I, I think, for, or actually I'm not even sure it will be for PC. And now I'm going to command M to push these values. I'm going to grab it down here. Bring those whites. Now if I push this black back, it's going to take out some of those um, some of those lighter shades that I don't want in there. Command M again. I can I can check back and forth too and see. I'm wanting just the main thing, so now I'll come in with my brush again. Put X to make it black. And this will work. Um, you can also try it like on, I use it a lot of times like on portraits or something. If, um, if someone has like a bright red shirt, you can mask that off pretty easy or different, different colors like that. So now I can go in and I can just select just the black on here. If I wanted to make it darker or if I wanted to completely change that color, I could. Um, I could come in here. And select the black and I could I could fill it with green if I wanted to obviously this picture is kind of low res and not all of that got grabbed there but you kind of get the, the gist of it you can always go back and mask that off better if you want by coming in here or you can you can even add selections I'll get into that in the masking tutorial that I'll do coming up after this but yeah, so that's just kind of a quick uh, overview on how I use channels to create outlines and creating mass. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave me one, and I'll try to get back to you guys. Thanks again for watching, and uh, be ready for another tutorial soon.